Here we're going to tie a fly called the PMX, which is short for the Parachute Madam X. First thing we're going to do is just lay down some loose thread wraps down the shank of the hook all the way to the bend. And then I'm going to take that thread back forward to about a quarter of the way from the eye. Then we're going to take some deer hair, we're going to place it in a hair stacker. We're going to stack the deer hair until the tips are even. I'm going to use a little bit of bleached deer hair here just because it's a little easier to see, light, light color. We want our tail to be no more than half of the length of the shank of the hook, so I just kind of roughly measure it out. And I'm going to trim the butt ends nice and even here. Make it a little easier for me to tie in with. I'm going to do a nice loose wrap here around that deer hair to capture it and I'll bite down on it. And I'm going to creep back with my thread doing some nice loose wraps to capture the deer hair. And I'm going to stop short of the back of the hook, reason being the next few wraps are going to be a little bit looser. That way the deer hair doesn't flare too much. If I do too tight a wraps right there at the end, the deer hair will flare and won't lay back. So I use some moderate to light tension wraps back there at the back of the hook. And you can trim out any of the extra pieces here that are sticking out. Now there's a couple different ways you can tie in the body material. I'm going to use a material here called Life Flex, which is a synthetic. It's a rubber type of floss rather than the traditional thread floss. This has a more translucent look, also much more durable. And all you're going to do is just simply take that material and you're going to wrap it around the hook for a body. And I'm going to wrap it forward first. I'm going to go all the way to the thorax region with this material. And then I'm going to double it over itself as soon as I get to that thorax region. I'm going to go back once more and you can pull on this material now very tight. This will make the body smooth out. Also make it much thinner and easier to work with. And you can tie this in a lot of different colors. You can tie it in orange, olive, whatever color you feel like tying. And once I get to the back, I'm just going to go forward again with some nice loose wraps, really pulling on it, stretching it. And once I get to the thorax, I can capture it, finish it off, trim out the excess. You can see that body is now semi-translucent, has kind of a mottled look to it. It looks much, much more buggy. Now the next step is to tie in the wing. For this we're going to use some bleached deer hair once again. We're going to stack this as well in our hair stacker. And once we've got the tips nice and even, we can tie it in. I want this wing to be about half as long as the tail there, so it's going to reach back to about the middle portion of the tail. So I just kind of roughly measure it out, and again I'm going to trim the butt ends blunt just to make it easy to tie in. And that first wrap I'm going to just do with some light tension and then pull down. Clean up the head region a little bit here if you need to. And 
once you've got that wing tied in we're ready to tie in the thorax material which is just going to be a couple of strands of some peacock curl we're going to tie this in just right in the thorax region and just let it hang off the, the thorax here for now and the next thing to do is to take some white McFly lawn which is a parachute material what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to lash down the, the wing with just some lead wire here this is going to do is just kind of keep it from getting in the way we're tying in our hackle and our post I'm just going to twist it like a twist tie and then just let it hang off the back here Oop. the reason for this is it'll just keep it keep it manageable keep it out of the way this way I won't trap any of the fibers and it doesn't have to be much, just enough to hold it back and out of the way we're going to tie in a piece of white McFly lawn I'm going to tie it right in the middle of the chunk and then I'm going to draw both ends up I'm going to parachute around this material drawing it together in one clump then I'm going to creep up this parachute just a little bit give it a little stem or a little post for the hackle to be tied into once I've done that we're ready to tie in our hackle feather I'm just going to use a brown hackle feather here we're going to tie this in right on the head here wrap it back to the post. Once I get to the post I'm actually going to take my thread and I'm going to wrap that hackle feather around the post drawing the two together. I'm going to go all the way to the top take my thread back down and I'm going to set it just behind the post. Then we're ready to tie in a brown rubber leg. For that I'm just going to use a, pair, a piece of medium round rubber and brown. I'm going to tie it basically right behind that parachute post. And I'm going to do the same thing here on the other side. And it only takes a couple of nice tight wraps to put it into place. Then I'm going to take my thread forward to the eye of the hook now we can undo our lead wire here we can take our peacock curl we're going to wrap our peacock curl around our thorax trying not to trap any of the deer hair. First wrap is always the trickiest one. And you kind of have to dodge all the, the rubber legs as well. And I'll go in between the rubber legs. And then I'll go in front of the rubber legs. build up a little bit of a head in front of the rubber legs got to be careful not to trap them so with each wrap I just stroke them out of the way now once I've got the peacock curl wrapped I'm going to capture it with my thread I can trim out the excess 
lash it down. Then I'm going to take my thread and just with one jump, I'm going to take it and lay it right behind the parachute post. I'm going to pull some of the deer hair out of the way. Just one jump, I'm just going to lay it right there. Now we're ready to wrap our hackle. I just draw that feather down. What I'm going to do is just wrap it around the post. Try not to capture any of the deer hair or the legs. Actually for this point I'm going to lash down the deer hair once again. Just to keep it out of the way. And I'm just going to take that hackle, creep down the post. Since I tied it in the top of the post, on the top of the post, I'm just going to wrap down the post. Once I get to the bottom here, I'm going to be ready to capture it. going to take that thread and I just have it hanging there. I'm going to go all the way underneath all that hackle. Three nice tight wraps. I can just leave my thread hanging there. Then I'm going to get in and trim out the excess portion of that hackle. And I can whip finish. All I'm going to do is just take a whip finisher. It helps if you use a nice large one, like a saltwater style whip finisher. And we're going to get underneath all of those fibers with a couple of nice wraps. You can finish it off. Trim out your thread. Get rid of our lead wire here. You can trim the post. I'll draw that wing up now. You can trim my legs. I trim these about the length of the body. If you got any fibers that got trapped during the process, you can take your hackle pliers and just clip into them, pull them out of there. You can see one right there. Just take it and you can pull it right out. That's basically all there is to a PMX. It's a fairly difficult pattern to tie. A lot of steps to it. A lot going on. It's a very effective fly. It imitates a hopper or a small stone fly. That's all there is to a PMX.